This WordPress web marketing tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Improve Your Online Visibility by Leaving a Comment on Someone Else's Blog. And uh, I'm calling it a web marketing tutorial in addition to being WordPress tutorial because it's fairly um, general and applies to, to any blog, not just WordPress uh, blog or website. And hopefully um, you'll get the idea that it's one of the best ways to uh, improve your own blog uh, is to leave a comment on a blog that that you like to read or that that you uh, admire and that you think has something um, you know often has a good uh, point to make or um, you know a post that that uh, speaks to the kind of thing that that you do on your blog um, and as they say um, one of the best ways to increase traffic to your blog or website uh, and traffic visibility uh, being the same thing um, is to leave a comment where others will see it so it's not the case anymore that um, or very often the case that that leaving a comment actually um, will give your blog a higher page rank or whatever page you're you're linking to say your home page um, but it is true that lots of readers will see your comment and will visit your blog having seen that so let's just get right into it here I don't have a lot of time uh, YouTube gives me only 10 minutes to work with for these tutorials so uh, we'll go right over to Business Blogging 101 and show you what we're talking about. Um, I think the most important thing here is that it's it's easy to leave a comment and it's uh, highly you know beneficial for you uh, to do so as as a blogger. So let's see just how easy it is. The Business Blogging 101 site is what I use for these WordPress uh, and web marketing tutorials and it's a, a sort of a standard blog set up with the chronological uh, posts on the home page like you can see here now typically at the end of a post um, when it appears on a home page like this with more than one post there's a link either at the bottom and you can probably not even really see that I'm going to blow it up by enlarging the font to a ridiculous size um, now maybe you can see that there it says two comments for this particular post and on the next one um, let's see there are oh, sorry about that I'm gonna give you a hard time there there are no comments okay on on this next post so uh, let's say I'm gonna click on this no comments and that's that's what you've got to do if you want to leave a comment it's gonna show me this leave a reply okay and what it says is you must be logged in to post a comment now that is not true of every um, blog that you see this is uh, characteristic of some blogs that are hosted on uh, wordpress.com so if I were to log in here uh, then I could comment if I'm not and I click on this uh, logged in it's going to say okay for wordpress.com give me your wordpress.com username and password and then log in and you'll be able to leave a comment after that okay if you don't have a wordpress.com username and password you can click on the link that says get a free wordpress account and sign up for one you don't have to have a blog to to do that um, but in most cases uh, this is what you'll see most often here is the um, let me show you what this looks like in reality this is the mcbuzz.com website um, for mcbuzz communications and it is a blog it's got uh, recent posts here on the side in the sidebar uh, and I've, I've blown it up uh, large here so you can see what this looks like at the end of a post okay so if I were to go out uh, and click on any one of these links say I click on it's hard to see but I'm clicking on our PDF files indexed by Google 
okay, a recent post, and then I get the page that has just that post on it, and then at the bottom there are already a couple of comments there, and then there's the leave a comment um, form, okay, that you can fill out, and here I've blown it up so that it's large and you can see what it says here hopefully. Okay, so it says leave a comment, you insert your name, all right? Um, you don't have to use your real name if you don't want to, but if you're interested in actually bringing people to your uh, blog or website, it's a good idea to use your real name, even if it's just your first name and your email address, okay? Um, I'm gonna make something up here. Uh, not a real address. Okay, now if if this is like, for instance, here's a here's an address that no longer works. Um, okay, that's a real address and you should put in a real address for your uh, uh, email address when you leave a comment. The only person that's going to see this is the owner of the blog. Okay, it's not going to be visible to anybody else. Um, if you're concerned about people stealing your email address and, and sending you spam, you can uh, use a Hotmail address or a Yahoo address, a free web address, and then um, if you start getting spam there, you just get rid of it. Uh, okay, here's the, here's the cool thing. You get to put in your um, web or blog address. Okay, that's very important because people will then be able to click on your name and go to your website having read your comment. Okay, now this uh, site has some spam protection on it and it asks you to add a couple of numbers together, which is always the hard part for me. Um, okay, so doing that keeps uh, this site from getting a lot of comment spam. And then you can say, you know, here is my comment. Okay, hopefully you have more to say than that. Uh, about what you've read. So it's a good idea to keep a, a you know, kind of a um, positive tone in, in your comments. Um, of course, you can bash people in, in, your, in their blog, um, but they're not going to appreciate it very much, and people who read that probably are not going to be that amused. They'd rather read something um, informative. So that's the best strategy when you're trying to bring uh, new visitors to your site. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm going to click on submit comment. Now it says down at the bottom here, not, not every site will say this, but it says comment moderation is enabled and may delay your comment. There's no need to resubmit your comment. So um, what that means is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm logged in or not here, I'm going to go ahead and submit it. Okay, it went ahead and published it immediately. Um, if it had not published it, then it would have meant that um, what had to happen first before that uh, comment got published is that it be approved by the site owner or the blog owner. And here's what that looks like in the WordPress um, dashboard. Okay, there are under comments in the dashboard, you have this comments tab where it shows all the comments that have been made on that on the site and then awaiting moderation um, right now I've got four uh, entries here okay and until I either um, approve them or do something else with them they're gonna sit in here uh, waiting for moderation now the only way they're gonna appear on my site is if I go ahead and click on approve and then uh, it says bulk moderate comments so that's going to allow me to select um, an option for each one of these and then hit this button and they'll all either be deleted or um, labeled as spam whatever I choose okay so that's why your post uh, comment might not show up right away it's got to be approved by the blog owner first um, so coming back to uh, what we had here the comment shows up no problem and uh, anybody can uh, then respond to what you have said, uh, including the, the owner of the site. And I try to do this on, on my site or any blog. If anybody comments, um, I tell them thanks for, for submitting their comment. 
and uh, if they've got a question or you know they're they're making a point then I, I like to address that point because it kind of extends the conversation and encourages people um, hopefully to come back to the site so that's kind of what it's all about um, okay so in a, in a nutshell that's that's how uh, leaving a comment works on a blog and in a future post I will talk about pingbacks and trackbacks but that's got to be done in a separate tutorial <laughs>